Hi, for today's video, we have a topic that I didn't cover for almost two years and it's about Korea Science Academy of KAIST. KAIST is an institute, but KSA is a high school. KAIST is located in Daejeon and KSA is located in Busan. And I did graduate at school, so yeah, I have lots of videos on this school. However, every four years ksa changes its application process like slightly they change some things so yeah i'm gonna talk about that and if you will have any questions you can leave them in the comment section and then i will also have live this sunday so if you have any questions regarding ksa you can join my live and yes it's gonna be all about ksa before we start this video i wanna say something like i really wanna say something i am so I am so pissed. KSA is pissing me off. Yeah, this school is pissing me off. Why? Because they use, the school uses my content, my videos that I make that are not actually even paid. They don't pay me. They don't credit me. They don't do anything. The thing is that KSA started using my videos since 2018 or 19 and they didn't even credit me they didn't even give me any volunteer hours anything you know like related to my work that I've done during my night sleeps when I was supposed to sleep but I was editing the videos two or one week ago KSA used my stuff and promoted my stuff my work my videos in my country like in my country without my consent they didn't email me to ask like hey can we use or they didn't even warn me like oh we're gonna use you know like there was no such thing and i did actually email ksa before i saw my post like i before i saw my work online <laughs> without my consent i emailed them like hey you know like i can be your ambassador but they did not reply me so what i'm trying to say is that in a whole video i'm just gonna put my whole name and then on top, I will just write that KSA has no F right using my stuff without my rights and my consent. So if you're bothered with the letters, it's going to be a watermark. So just don't pay attention because I'm so pissed and I don't want KSA use my stuff without asking me to do so. so. It's been like a week and I'm still pissed and I would highly appreciate you if you know, if you're gonna have your interview, like if you pass your first round, I mean, hopefully you will. I will highly appreciate if you could at least mention that you learned about KSA from my channel, from my information, from the things that I share. Because admission stuff, they do not appreciate or they do not credit me and it really pisses me off. So hopefully you understand. So yeah, before further ado, let's get started with this video. KSA of KAIS is Korea Science Academy of KAIS. This school is basically for science gifted students, for those who really love science, who see themselves in the future doing science related stuff like math, computer science, physics, chemistry, biology, anything in that sort. And also, a small reminder is that. If you're planning to study in this school and then after graduating this school you're planning to study in medical school i just want to stop you there because you cannot study in the school if you are planning to do your medical degree this is the important reminder you should know before applying case of guys is chartered for gifted education in math and science and funded by national government students who are interested in schools of medicine pharmacy or related fields are not suitable to apply please please know that because there are lots of not lots of cases there might be some cases with this problem yeah before we go into details in small notes you need to submit your original documents by original documents i don't mean that if they ask you for your passport you need to send your passport okay because they will not return any of your documents even if you pass or don't yeah they will not and the best part of this school is that they do not ask you for any application fee. Let's start with the application schedule. So actually admissions announcement was already out in January 3rd, 2022. And then online submission of application form and recommendation letters and also airmail submission of documents actually started February 3rd 
and it will finish in March 4th, which means during this time, you had to submit your online application and also send your required documents by post. Yeah, I know it's Friday now and you have like literally one week to submit your stuff, but um, hopefully you already did it and maybe you already sent your documents, but this video might be a small other reminder of what you had to do or what you have to do. The thing is that before KSA application was completely different. The application, um, the online submission, the airmail submission of documents were actually held like into like five or four months. So the admission actually would start in February or March until August. You would have to, you know, like send your documents, submit your online application and stuff. And then you can get your results in September. And then when you get your results in October, you would have your interview. And then at the end of no October or the beginning of November, you could get your second stage results. But now it's completely different. They shrink this application into, you know, like few months. Yeah, you will get your final results in May. So yeah, it's like so short in like three months to do this stuff. Whereas it was like almost a year to apply to get like to get your interview and stuff. Anyways, so you need to submit your online application and also your documents by post till March 4th, 2022. First stage of document review will be like eight days, like they will review your documents and then they will tell you about the first stage results in March 29th. So basically in like three weeks, you will get your first stage results. And then after that, when you get your first stage result, they will tell you about the interview. They will make a appointment with you when you will have your interview and stuff so that you can prepare mentally too. And so second stage will be from April 1st to May 13th, basically a month and a half. And then you can get your final results on May 23rd, basically after 10 days. And only approximately 15 students will be selected. When you pass everything, then you will have your pre-enrollment education for admittee. So what it means, you will have access to some websites where teachers of like math teachers, science teachers, English and Korean teachers will give you homeworks. They will give you like some lectures and then like, you know, kind of prepare you for KSA and you have to participate in this pre-enrollment education. Now to the juicy part of this school, financial aid. What is really good about this school is that they cover your, you know, like tuition fee, your food, your dorm, literally everything. Everything is free. It's fully funded. You will just only have to pay your flight tickets, alien card insurance, and then some other documents for, you know, like making new cards and then that registration alien card. And maybe also if you want to buy new books, you will have to buy your books, your uniform, your PE uniform, your lab coat and such stuff like that. So it's like kind of personal expenses just to make sure that you understand. I will just read what they really cover. So they will cover your educational expenses, which include your tuition fees, overseas training programs, creative research activity program, including r and &E, leadership activity programs, high school research program at KAIS. Then other expenses that they will cover is room and board, going home weekend programs when you can actually visit Korean your Korean classmates home and stuff like that. Special holiday programs twice a year during like kind of Chuseok and spring holidays, pre-enrollment programs, international academic exchange program, international science fair participation fee. Other expenses are supportable according to school policy. In case if you have a question what you're gonna pay, basically your personal expenses, flight expenses, a school uniform, gym uniform, taekwondo uniform, experiment garment, lab coat, ID photo, laundry service fee, laundry bag. Oh, actually laundry was such a stress for me. Yeah, it was quite expensive. Laundry bag, health insurance, alien registration card, medical check, vaccine and textbook fees should be covered privately. So basically this stuff should be covered by you. And other personal expenses should be covered privately too. Meaning if you want to go out, shop, eat outside, cafes, coffee, whatever, like outside of school, obviously you need to pay. So let's talk about 
a bit about document requirements and the admission process. As I already mentioned, there are actually two stages. First stage is your document evaluation and second stage is your math interview and English interview. And math interview is actually written test, meaning they send you the problems and you need to solve them on your paper and then send that paper to them not by post but like facts scanning and stuff and then you will have uh, english interview before in my case it was just like oh why do you want to study in korea why the school and stuff like basically really simple questions but i heard that in 2020 they changed it so they would actually give you like a passage from kind of toyful reading passage and you will need to read and then explain what it was about and stuff but i think they will give more likely kind of research papers to know if you can actually understand like academic part of english so documents to be submitted obviously for your online submission you need to submit everything this include application form personal statement recommendation letters from math or science teacher and the second one should be from english or homeroom teacher homeroom teacher is basically a teacher that actually is responsible for your class she can actually write or your counselor if you have some science teacher can be chemistry biology computer science anything related to science then you need to submit your official academic records over the recent three year period since they changed the date there are lots of problems and confusions between applicants yeah because in case of like a russian education system we start our school in september and then we graduate on may but since they changed the dates and now it's like you get your final results on may and then you need to send like on february and march there are lots of questions on like which semester should i send which year should i send in my opinion i think just send your three years of record and also your last semester transcripts yeah but in case of this problem this issue i really highly suggest you just email them and ask them just to make sure this and then you need to submit your photocopy of passport and your parents too which are actually valid until at least august 31st 2023 and then all documents should be written in english and submitted on the kc admissions website If it's in different language, <gasps> all your documents should be submitted in English. If it's in different language, you need to translate them, professionally translate them and notarize and stamp and everything. And you need to send them. For your email submission, you need to send your official academic records over the recent three year period and your photocopy of passport and your parents too. And then middle school enrollment certificate or middle school graduation certificate questions that actually some people might ask is basically your math interview so i'm just gonna put some sample questions here so you will have some idea of what questions will come basically they usually would tell me to study from seventh grade to ninth grade like all those topics such as trigonometry algebra uh, what else is there <laughs> geometry stuff like that so you can just see from sample questions right here what type of questions will come also some people might have questions like oh should i really submit my original documents by original documents as i already mentioned doesn't mean you need to send your passports like your real passport or your diploma right away no you need to actually when you get from your school your documents you need to ask them to give you multiple copies of those documents so that you don't send everything there because once you get from your school your documents if it's already in english then you will just need to send these documents so just make sure to take a few copies from your school if it's in different language you need to just notarize them translate them put a stamp and send that paper not a copy of that paper not a copy of your notarized paper you need to send your whole notarized documents to the school if you have any other questions if you still have questions obviously you will have lots of them just join my live on sunday and i will answer to all of your questions hopefully and once again in case i don't use my stuff without my right without my consent so yeah but for all of you i wish you best of luck and hopefully you will get in thank you for watching and see you in my life or in my next videos ciao